Park, former home of the Athletics. Here's the batting order for the visiting team. Hi again, everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper, joined by Mike Kruko for today's MVP baseball game. And we're set to go. Today's starter, Rick Wise. This game features the San Francisco Giants and the Philadelphia Phillies. Here's the game's first batter, Tito Fuentes. This batter pounds the ball off right-handed pitchers. A liner, lined sharply, that's a base hit. Base hit to lead off the inning. The next batter is Ron Hunt. Tries to pick him off at first. One on and nobody out. Hit towards second base. The runner is buried down at second base. Shortstop made a great play there to take the contact and still throw out the runner first. What a great play. He may have been injured on the play. Crook and I certainly wish him the best. This guy isn't great against right-handed pitching, but he does already. The count's 0-1. He throws a four-seam fastball, a slide piece, and a good old Uncle Charlie. He broke his bat on the ball to the left side. And he's out. He just loves to come inside and break bats. That was a sweet example of that. They got that one base hit, but they couldn't turn it into a run. On the mound to make the start for the visiting team, Gaylord Perry. Next up, Tony Taylor. This righty is not an exceptional contact. Didn't find the plate for a ball. The diamond pattern field really displays this talented ground screw. He flips it to the pitcher covering. Out number one. Easy play and he's out. Stepping in, Don Bundy. Here's the pitch. One ball and no strikes. That one's foul, but it looks like there's some room. He catches it in foul territory. Next at the plate, Richie Allen. And a strike on the inside corner. The pitcher has great off-speed pitches, but a less than dominant fastball. A high. Sometimes you try to make the hitter change your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. He reaches with a single. Hey, that pitcher made a mistake right there, and the batter made him pay for it, big boy. Up next, Johnny Callison. This right-hander has some very nice slow stuff. He uses to set up a less-than-smoking fastball. Strike. Perry delivers a fastball out of the zone. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your picks. That's exactly what you saw right there. After one, no score here. Leading off, Willie McCovey. Painted the black on the outside edge. This dude has a bevy of pitches in his arsenal. Pitch said, come and get a big move, but the batter could not touch that third ball. One, two count. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your picks. That's exactly what you saw right there. He hits it hard towards the second baseman. Got him. Bond. 
Hines will hit next. His best pitch is his heat, and he throws it off. A liner. He's on his way to second. They barely got him. Henderson is the next hitter. This batter looks lost when there's a right-hander on the mound. Wise misses, and the count is 1-0. This right-handed pitcher will throw three different pitches when he needs to get a batter out. Great pitch on the black. Would have been a call strike even if the batter didn't swing through it. He gets strike three swinging. Heading into the bottom of the second, the game is scoreless. The next batter is Larry Heisel. This guy is great against Redmond and pitching, but he does learn. Good start to the inning, a leadoff single. Next up, Darren Johnson. This batter is nothing special when he's facing a righty on the mound. Partner, this runner is excellent at reading pitches and their deliveries. Now, I wouldn't be shocked if he went here. He wanted the batter to go fishing on that one, and boy, did he ever fish. And he got him. Hey, he gets strike one, he just keeps plowing away for the strikeout. Ross steps in it to play. It's no secret that this right-handed hitter hates facing righty pitchers. Kai, this guy's more than capable of going the distance every time he gets on the mound. Curveball misses inside. This guy's a prime candidate trying to swipe the bag right here. Misses outside. Hitters count three and one. Oh, Kite, he hung that one. Makes a pickoff throw to first. Tries to pick him off. The runner at first is off. Kite looks to me like he pitched around. The unintentional, intentional walk. Stepping in, Mike Ryan. This fellow here is not what you would call a batting coach's dream. Kite, the guy standing in right field has his share of outfield assists. Look for the runner to stay at third if it's hit to right. His location was perfect for that slider. Broke right of the corner. Which is low. On the ground. Hunt handles it. Nice concentration at second base. The shortstop showed me something there. That runner was like a wild bull, but he stayed in there and turned two. With two innings played, no score here. Next at the plate, Dick Dietz. This right-handed hitter has truly a needy swing. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. There's a foul off the catcher. Didn't find the plate for a ball. This guy's a stud, Kite. He expects to be on that mound all the way till the ninth inning every time. Struck him out with the heater. Up next, Lemire. This guy isn't very good at all against right-handed pitching. That's a grounder down the left side. Two out. Taylor made it look easy on that out at first, Kai. The next batter is Gaylord Perry. 
Strike one. Sweet curveball right there, partner. He delivered it right where he wanted to for a called strike. Gathers it in with his glove. Third out, we go to the bottom of the inning. After two and a half, the game is scoreless. Next up, Rick Wise. It's a right field. Bonds makes the catch for the out. He picked that ball up right off the bat and camped under for an easy out. Stepping in, Tony Taylor. Curveball is up for a ball. Threw that curveball just out of the zone, but the batter didn't bite. He sends this pitch towards second base. And he makes the catch. Those are the kind of plays that win ball games. Next at the plate, Don Mundy. Caught him looking. Misses for a ball. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. And the count is two and one. The palm ball is his best pitch, and he throws it on any count. Palm ball gets a stride. It's a full count. He was hoping the batter would go fishing and pitch out of his zone. He popped him up. Perry with a 1-2-3 inning. After three innings, no score here. Leading off, Mason. Way late on that one. He hits it over towards second. Got him. Up next, Ron Hunt. Taken for a ball. They're going to have to do something out there. Some of these pitches ain't even close. Slider breaks in there for a strike. Wise with the one-two offering. Hunt lays off ball two. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He falls behind. Makes great pitches, however. Comes all the way back and gets the strikeout. The next batter is Willie Mays. That was by him before he swung. It's hit out towards short. Wise retires the side in order. Going into the bottom of the fourth, the game is scoreless. Next up, Richie Allen. Just watching. A bit high. Takes low. Two old pitch. Sharply in the left field. Kite, that's not an easy play to make it off. He really flashed the leather there. Stepping in, Johnny Callison. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1 0. Base is empty with one out. And that's a strike to even the count. The center fielder is on his horse. Tremendous over the shoulder grab. He had a good jump right there. Good speed, great instincts. That's what led to that game. Next at the plate, Larry Heisel. Taken for a ball. Last season, he had 266 with 20 home runs and 56 runs batted in. Perry retires the side in order. With five innings remaining, no score here. Leading off the inning, Willie McCovey. Swing and a miss.
It's a chopper. Gathers it in with his glove. They make the play. Taylor made it look easy on that out of first guy. Up next, Bobby Bonds. This guy's got great speed. He puts a lot of pressure on the infield when he puts the ball in play. Pitch misses. He fouled it off to the left. Hit towards the shortstop. Two gone. The next batter is Ken Henderson. Takes the low. Sometimes you try to make the hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. And a strike. Grounded foul. And we'll reset and do it again. The only time you see a guy swing and foul it off the other way means he's late. Three and two. And the side is retired. After four and a half, the game is scoreless. Next up, Darren Johnson. Taken for a ball. Two and one. Get to the left side. One out. Takes a pitch high. Wow, that wasn't even close. Better wisely took that pitch for a ball. One and two. Two and two. That's three strikeouts. Well, you're talking about making a good pitch. Right there, he was really backed up against the wall. And then he digs deep, makes great pitches, and gets the strikeout. Stepping in, Mike Ryan. Here comes the first pitch of the at-bat. Pitch taken for a ball. Two outs, and the bases are empty. Break one. It's hit out towards short. He's on with a two-out single. Wise comes to the plate. Oh, he wants to get this guy. No way you want to give up a hit to your counterpart. Hunt makes the routine catch. With five innings played, no score here. Here's the first batter of the inning, Dick Dietz. Taken for a ball. Pitch misses for a ball. Two balls, one strike. Two two count. Two count. Sometimes you try to make the hitter change your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there.
Terrific at bat right here. He crushes it. Caught it up the wall. But right there, we saw he's considered an elite fielder. Great catch. A ball. Two oh count. They're gonna have to do something out there. Some of these pitches ain't even close. Two ball, one strike count. Swing and a miss on the pitch on the corner. The count is full. He delivers. Look here. here. Strikes out swinging. I tell you, partner, that was the swing of a guy who was not expecting a breaking ball. Strike three. See ya. Next at the plate, Gaylord Perry. If this guy gets the bat on the ball, even a foul ball, he'll be happy. He's not a strong hitter. Fouls it away. Pitch taken for a ball. Sometimes you try to make a hitter chase your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Two and two, the count. It's a one, two, three inning. After five and a half, the game is scoreless. Up next, Tony Taylor. Pitch misses for a ball. Sometimes you try to make a hit and change your pitch. That's exactly what you saw right there. Henderson grabs it in foul territory. Monday up next. Taken for a ball. That one's rolling to second. That's an infield base hit. Up next with one single already, Richie Allen. Takes a pitch just off the plate, 1-0. Oh. Double play situation. Pitcher's got to try and keep the ball down here to force the hitter to hit the ball on the ground. The pitch is pulled out to the left side. They turn two. Flawless execution right there on the double play. After six, no score here. Leading off the inning, Mason. Foul ball. Swing and a miss on the pitch on the corner. A ball. Pitch misses. Three and two. Look like the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. Takes the walk. Hey, partner, he showed a lot of patience in that A.B. He took and took until he finally got the free pass. The next batter is Ron Hunt. The ball is hit the other way to the right side. They got him. In fact, that's a huge play to get the go-ahead run scoring position. Next up, Willie Mays. Okay, the scouting report tells me he dives and makes a fantastic catch. They got him. McCovey takes his turn at bat. He puts him on intentionally. Looks to me like they're playing the percentages here. Stepping in, Bobby Bonds. Grab 
Brown's won the opposite way. Got him. Hey, partner, it's time now for the seventh inning stretch. Didn't you sing recently at Wrigley Field? Oh, I sure did. When I was in the league, I could pitch in front of 50,000 people, but that was like throwing in my backyard. Singing to take me out to the ball game at Wrigley? I was scared to death. Next at the plate, Johnny Callison. He misses inside with the palm ball. Two balls, no strikes. Start to the inning, a leadoff single. Right, they really needed him to come through that game. Boy, did he have a, what a nice piece of hitting. The Phillies have some activity down on their pen. The corners are hugging the lines. At bat for the single, Larry Heisel. Runner on first with no one out. Taken for a ball. Pitch taken for a ball. Hey, partner, if the pitcher can keep the ball low in the zone, he might... Pickoff throw. Pickoff attempt. Ground ball pulled to the left side. Save! He's on with a base hit. Johnson comes to the plate. The fielder is retreating. It's off the wall. The go-ahead run scores. He's on second with a double. Fakes the bunt. Ball low. Last season, he batted 228 with four home runs and 30 runs batted in. They need to move that runner over to third base right here. That batter needs to get a ball he can drive to the right side. Back up the middle. He's around third. A run crosses the plate. Hey, great hitters have a knack for finding holes and getting base hits. The Giants have a lefty warming up in the bullpen. Stepping in, one for two, Mike Bryant. They need to get a run right here. Before that, they need to move the runner into scoring position, and a bunt could do that for them. Ground ball to the right side. He's on with a base hit. Good play to move that runner in the square position. The Giants have a left-hander and a right-hander getting loose in the bullpen. The next batter is Rick Wines. Pickoff play. Started the bunt but pulled back. I can guarantee you that the catcher isn't asking for all these balls. There's a push bump. Ow! He couldn't ask for a better butt. Good job. Next up, Tony Taylor. Fastball misses in. And here's the delivery. Incredible play. The runner crosses the plate on the sacrifice fly. To me, that's a successful bat. That's a bat. Anytime you can drive in a run, you've done your job. Yeah, 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 Step 
it in, Don Mundy. Taken for a ball. Harry readies for the 1 0 pitch. Pitch taken for a ball. The fact the pitcher and catcher have a strategy in mind. So far, the batters are taking these pitches. The pitch is taken out to right. What a catch! There's a big time catch right there. With seven innings played, the Phillies lead by four runs. Next at the plate, Ken Henderson. Fastball missed away for a ball. That one is driven deep to left field. Johnson makes the routine catch. In fact, he didn't get all that ball. The fielder strolled over, got under it, made an easy play. Up next, Dick Dietz. Line drive to left field. And he gives up everything to get that ball and make the catch. The next batter is Lemir. Hit into right field. One, two, three, and the inning is over. Going into the bottom of the eighth, the score is four to nothing. Stepping in one for three, Richie Allen. He's got there in the mound with zero stuff to do. Lifts one to right. Bonds makes the routine catch. He had a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Stepping up to the plate with a single already, Johnny Callison. Popped up in foul territory, but he has room for a play. Stepping in two for three, Larry Heiser. Second, he hit the bat. The Giants bring in a new pitcher. Robertson comes in from the bullpen. Darren Johnson. Swings and misses 0 and 1. Lifts one to left. Henderson makes the grab for the out. With one inning left to play, the Phillies lead five runs to nothing. The Giants will send up a pinch hitter. This is it. They're going to have to create some offense in a hurry. Misses upstairs for a ball. Mundy makes the catch for the out. Kike's his quick reaction allowed him to make the play on that line drive. Nice play. Johnson makes the grab for the out. Got a nice pitch there to get the fly ball. Nice work. Hunt is next up. Grounded to the right side. This one is over. Wise picks up the win. Harry is saddled with the loss. The final score, Philadelphia 5, the Giants 0.